Let me bring back in those guests now to get their reaction. Criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor David Bruno was with me and litigation trial attorney Rich Schoenstein as well. Rich, I'll start with you. Uh, this is your area. Um, you you kind of called it, you know, and I, I, David, I got it with me. You called it as well. Um, your thoughts on the verdict. Michael, Gwyneth Paltrow took that ski jump, she hit it, and she landed perfectly. <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10 10 for out anybody of 10. who's scoring. It is unanimous, 8-0, it is decisive, it is 100%, which in a comparative negligence state is as big a win as you can get. It's only a dollar because she only asked for a dollar. I bet if she had asked for more, she might have got more. It's a complete victory for Gwyneth Paltrow. She should be very satisfied with the outcome. Yeah, she appeared to be very satisfied. Debra Bruno, your thoughts? Yeah, first, I mean, look, I'm a criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor, and we cover a lot of criminal cases on this network. And oftentimes, we don't get percentages. You know, even, even on the guilties, proof beyond a reasonable doubt, it's really all, it could be the hundred, but, you know, it's got to be a reasonable, it's got to be to that, that point. When it's a not guilty, we don't know if it's 10%, 15%, 20%, 40%. This is a unique situation where uh, we get to broadcast this verdict and a percentage where they basically said, we do not believe him for one second, not one scintilla. 100% at fault by the plaintiff, the one that brought this. He is the one that brought this dispute to this court and on television, and he's the one that said he was harmed, and the jury took that, spun it around, and said no. And I think this is good for our system in general hmm. because there are so many frivolous lawsuits out there. It just goes to show you that the courts work. And in this particular case, it did too. When you saw those those images, those travel images, all the things that he did in travel, he had to go up and down on airplanes saying that he had these neurological issues. And I applaud the jury for the patience and I applaud them for this verdict. Yeah, no doubt. You know, Stephen Owen said in his closing argument that Gwyneth Paltrow brought this case to show her children. You know, it was, a, it was a moral thing. She was sticking her feet in the sand, and we all kind of felt that way. So certainly lessons learned here. She stood up for what she believed in or what she believed happened and ultimately came out the winner. So hopefully the children were watching closely. I'm sure that they were. We are expecting folks uh, there to be some statement made. Stephen Owen said he will be making a statement. We'll, of course, bring that to you. Uh, for Actually, Sanderson I understand is speaking now. Let's go live back out to that courthouse in Park City, Utah, as Sanderson.